Hey now, this is video number six, Mercedes Gullwing replica. Okay, we are finished with the windshield. It is bolted to the corresponding flange that, you know, where the hood area is. Um, I did make one change. Um, I was gonna break the mold here across the T-bar, but I, did, I wasn't happy with just having a little piece here um, so what, what I did was I broke it up here by the windshield. At least I can put a piece of uh, steel reinforcement in there, uh, you know, three quarter inch steel tubing. Um, but that's, that's that, that's done. The quarter windows are finished. This one is 100% finished. It is sanded and bolted to the other mold section. The passenger side, notice how I got that right this time. The passenger side is, well, it just has to be trimmed out. It's all done. Just letting it cure overnight. Um, other change that I might be making is I will probably break another section for the mold right here. Um, thinking that it's when you break the mold, it kind of like makes a T. I guess you could see it up there. I don't want to say a T, but two L's when you bolt them together, it makes a T. Um, I think it'll add a little strength along the body line because uh, I know I haven't mentioned it before. All of the body panels on this car are pre-fit, meaning they're fit for this plug. Um, on Herman's mold, there was, uh, quite a few discrepancies. I mean, you have to understand that his molds were built, uh, I think, 81. Um, and his molds were basically broken right down the whole middle of the car. And there was three pieces. You had a left, a right, and a nose section. Um, so it kind of made for, uh, I want to say a bad body but it needed work after it came out of the the plug or after I'm sorry after it came out of the, the mold um, so I'm trying I, I I'm not trying I, it will all be set because everything is pre-fit even even the windows the windshield the rear window and the uh, both quarter windows in the back um, the yeah the all the other body panels are here. All the body work is done. They're just, you know, they're just not in primer. They basically have to be primered or wet sanded and they're ready to be uh, made into uh, a mold. You know, they're just plugs. But if you took those doors and a hood and a trunk lid, um, it would go right on there and you'd have the uh, 3 16 gap all around the doors and everything because I, I did put the gaskets on the plug when I mounted the doors and did a body work. So everything uh, will be, well, I, I'm gonna say, I'm pretty damn sure it's gonna be almost close to perfect. Um, I wanted no body work when these came out of the mold. Um, I mean, I spent a lot of time getting everything straight. So like they say, if, uh, if the plug is good, what you're gonna get out of your molds when you're done should look just like the plug. So if that's the case, we are in business. All right, everybody. Till next time. Chow main.